Okay, so this video is in response to a question that was raised by someone who said, you know, I saw your video on changing the stringers to channels, but what about hollow tubes? Okay, and here's the story. I'm going to just kind of show it to you rather than try to explain it. So logically, you would think, think that, okay, this, this current stair is using the scene 9 by 15 channel profile which typically comes with the template and I would want another profile I would want basically the hollow tube profile so I'll go to load family here and under profiles framing steel and then hollow structuring hollow hollow structural section profile we'll click open there and I'll find like an 8 by 2 or something like that just select one of these here you would think, okay, now I've got this guy right here. I'll be able to use that for my stair profile. So you touch the stairs. And again, this what is in my head. This should work, right? Right support type. And then click on the ellipsis. And in the pull-down list, it's not there. Okay. Now I've seen some posts uh, that says, well, you know, you got to make sure that they're both generic. But you know, they are both generic, actually, right now. If you go to the C-channel profile, edit that and go to its family types and family category and parameters profile generic that's what's working right now correct and if we go to the other one that we just loaded the HSS hollow tube edit that and uh, go to family category and parameters generic profile usage it matches so what's going on here why isn't this one working well for some reason with the stringer profile will not respect anything that has essentially a void in the middle. I don't know why that is, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and delete this. So I'll delete that little inner uh, portion. I'll load that into the project, and let's overwrite the existing version. I'll touch the stairs again, and then under Properties, Edit Type, go to the Stringer, hit the ellipsis and then in my section profile there it is it's available from use I hit apply hit OK hit OK there and we have our our tube of course the downside of that is that it does it's not a hollow tube it's 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 solid but you know I I played around with this six ways to Sunday and essentially that's what is making Revit burp when using some of these other profiles. Uh, it needs to be basically a closed chain of lines and there can't be like an interior space or, or void essentially as part of the profile. So if that's what you're after, if you if this is good enough for you because you know you just want to see the outside shape and then you can use detail elements for your detailing, that will work totally fine. If on the other hand you really need to truly model that, that tube steel um, then uh, your your best bet is to do it quote unquote the old school style and use a railing you know basically modify your railing to have the stringer be part of that railing uh, family or instance and then apply it to the stairs and have that in the right location okay so hopefully that helps explain why certain profiles don't work for stringers thanks